Hello, Raphael. Good evening. Hello, hello. Are you there? Good evening, teacher. Oh, good evening. <clears throat> How are you? Fine. Sorry, I am eating now. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, enjoy your meal. No problem. Okay. Wait a minute. Yes, of course. Okay, so I think that we have Eulise, we also have Andrea. And, okay, so good evening, Andrea. Good evening, Eulise. Good evening, teacher. How are you? No, I feel better than yesterday because yesterday I, I was sick, but now I feel better. You feel better? Okay. Okay, that's something good, okay? So, well, and what about you, Andrea? How are you? How do you feel? Um, fine. You're fine? Um, hey, how was your day? I... Mm -hmm. Perdón? How was your day? Mm, relative. Mm. I uh, hope do you say más o menos? So, so. So, so. And um, because a uh, terrific el traffic in all San Salvador. Yeah, it is terrible, right? Traffic is terrible. Three hours and tres horas me tardo en llegar al trabajo. I take three hours to get work. Yes. Oh my God. Yes, so I think that that is a lot. Three hours. Andrea. Yes, Andrea, you take a lot of time. I mean, you probably travel from where? From where? I mean, where do you live? Uh, in <clears throat> San Bartolo, Ilopango. Ilopango, and then you so, come to San Salvador. Escalón. Yes. Okay. I, I, I think that is in Boulevard, right? Yes, el uh -huh. Boulevard del Ejército. And, and also okay. Salvador del Mundo. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry, Andrea. Okay, I, mean, I know, I know. Well, okay, so let's see. We also have Raul, we also have Nelson. Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? A little tired, but good. <laughs> a little bit tired, but good. Okay, so well, the what I matters is the, the attitude. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, what matters is the attitude, right? So yes, the attitude. Yes, yeah, of course. All right, guys. So we are going to start with the warm up. Then we are going to move to grammar, and today we are going to base our class in the simple past. Okay, so we are going to make a review on the simple past. And we are going to have a speaking time. We also have grammar quiz, we have games, and we have the wrap up, and we have listening quizzes as well. Okay. So, first of all, well, I already asked you, okay, how was your day? Okay. And what did you do? I think that uh, a lot of activities, right, at work. So, right now, what we are going to do is the following. Let me show my screen. Okay. Let me see. Yes. Let me, let me share this one. Okay. All right, so let's see. Name three things that start with the letter C. Name three things. Give me three things, yeah? 
name of everything. Yeah, three things that start with C. Car. 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 Um, case. Case. Cell phone. And cell phone. Perfect. Now, name three things that start with the letter E. Elephant. Elephant. Eraser. 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 Mm. Electronic. Electronic devices. Okay, perfect. Now, name three seasons. Seasons. Winter. Winter. Uh, summer. Summer. Autumn. And autumn. Perfect. Now, name three red fruits. Uh, apple. 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 Mm, strawberry. A strawberry. Cherry. Okay. Cherry. Excellent. Now, name three drinks. Alcohol. <laughs> beer. Come on. Oh, my God, guys. The alcohol, beer. It's okay. What else? Orange juice. Orange juice. Okay. Water. Yeah. Water. Okay. So now, name three Alcohol. pets. Three pets. Cats. Pets. Bat, cat. Dog. 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 Mice. Okay, yeah, mm, well, that is not a pet, but, but well, yeah, it could be, right? Hamster. But it's pretty, it's pretty. Yeah. It is, right? Okay, all right. So now, name three farm animals. Horse. Horse. Horse, cow. 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 Cows. Mm -hmm. um, chicken. Chicken, perfect. Okay, now, name three body parts. Brain, brain, brain. eyes. Okay, eyes. Knees, knees, arms. knees. Yes, arms. Knees, yeah. Yes, knees. Yes, arms. Okay, okay, perfect. Name three sports. Bicycle, the sky, no, sports, the sport, running. Soccer. Okay, running. Soccer, Football, soccer, basketball. 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 Perfect. Tennis. Tennis. Name three animals that can swim. Octopus. Wallet. Octopus. Wallet. Uh, Shark. well, Sharks. Turtles. 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 Yes. Now, name three shapes. Shapes. What's the meaning of shapes? shapes? Um, for example, spherical, uh, rectangle, ah, rectangle, square, square. Ellipse, line. Okay, yes, very good. Interesting. Name three days of the week. Sunday. Sunday. Friday. Friday. Wednesday. And Wednesday. Saturday. Saturday, okay. Now, name three months of the year. February. February, March, 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 August, August. August. Okay, now name three vegetables. Carrots. Carrots. Uh, potato is, is a vegetable? Potatoes, yes. And? Green bean. Okay, yes. Onion. Onion. Now, name three countries in English. Germany. Germany. Spain. Italy, Spain. Spain. Yes. Okay. Russia. Russia. Okay. Now, name three animals that have four legs. Dogs. Dog. Horse. 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 Elephant. Elephant. Okay, now name three foods that are yellow. Banana. Banana. Orange. Orange. Eggs. Eggs. Okay. Yes, right. 
Now, name three things you see in the school. Table. Books. Table. Books. Notebook. Notebook. Yes. Now, name three things you see at home. At home. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Bed. Bed. TV. TV. Okay. Now, name three kinds of weather. Rainy. Winter. Rainy. Winter. Umbrella. Uh, oh, yeah. This is an umbrella. Okay. Rain. Rain. Sunny. Sunny. Okay. Mm. Excellent. Excellent. Mm. Now, Windy. name winter. Yes. Now, mm. name three foods you like. French fries. Chicken, French fries. Fast food. Oh my God. Okay, <laughs> salad, yeah. Uh, yes, okay. So now name three verbs in, in present. Run. 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 Read. Okay. Read. Take. Watch. Play. Right. Okay, watch. Play. So, okay, excellent. Play. Name three animals you see at the zoo. Lion. Lion. Tiger. Tiger. Giraffe. Giraffe. Elephant. Elephant. Name three things that start with the letter S. Strawberry. Stars. Strawberry. Star. Star. Sun. Smile. Star. A smile. Perfect. Uh, smile. And the last one. Name three things that are green. Lemon. Lemon. Money. Money. Yes. Mango. And mango. Mango. Okay, perfect. Green mango. Mango. All right, perfect, guys. Okay, let's move. Okay, so we already had the warm up, and now let's move to idioms. Okay, about past. Um, Walter, help us reading this idiom. From a blast the from the past. And Hosman, help us reading a thing of the past. Okay, okay. go on. You say Walter, right? Yes, Walter. Okay. A blast from the past. A blast from the past is someone or something that reminds you of an earlier time in your life, giving you a sense of nostalgia. 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 I bumped into one of my old school friends today. What a blast from the past. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Oh, a thing of the past. It sometimes is a thing of the past. It doesn't happen or excite anymore. Playing Donkey Kong is a thing of the past. Perfect. So a blast from the past, guys, do you know what are idioms? Idioms? No? Idiomatic expressions? Yes. A blast from the past. Okay. Yeah. So do you know, but do you know what are idioms? If I if I ask you, do you know what, what are idioms? Do you know what yeah. idioms? Okay, explain. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, none is your business. None of your business, yes. Yeah, is is when you, when they say hi, no, it's not, no, no, es no, 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 mm -hmm. no, 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 an idiom or an idiomatic expression is actually a sentence, a saying, a phrase, right? That in this case, in our Spanish, son like dichos, yeah? Like, for example, uh, it's raining cats and dogs, right? So that means that it is heavily raining, yeah? So que está lloviendo muchísimo. Yeah, so a blast from the past is an idiom. That means, what is the meaning of a blast from the past? Well, it says, a blast from the past is someone or something that reminds you of an earlier time in your life. 
giving you a sense of nostalgia. Cuando usted dice, ah, qué recuerdos. Okay, so that is what a blast from the past. Okay, so then we also have a thing of the past. It is something in this case that it doesn't happen or exist anymore. That is a thing of the past. But situations are things of the past. Yeah. In this case, did you play Donkey Kong? Did you play yeah. it? It was yeah. awesome. yes, I did. I, yeah. I did it as well. The first I played Donkey Kong. It. Yes, it was awesome, right? You know, I think that now video games are kind of difficult. I think that this was kind of easy, but the ones <laughs> that I see um, my friends playing are kind of difficult, at least for me, right? Um, I have seen um, Minecraft. I think that is one. I don't understand that one, but yes. Okay, so then uh, let's move and let's start with the simple past. Guys, what is the simple past of cry? Ride. Ride. Can you please spell it? Spell it Ride. for me. D R I D R I D D. E. Excellent. What is a simple password? Travel. 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 B R A B L L E D. Okay. What is a simple password? Send. 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 Spell it. Send. E N T. Excellent. What is the simple path of enjoy? Enjoyed. Excellent. Enjoyed. Perfect. Stop. Stopped. 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 Spell it. S T O P P E D. Stopped. Double P. Excellent. Yes. Break. Broke. 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 Excellent. Fall. Fell. Excellent. Fell. Okay. What is the simple pass for chat? Chat it. Chat it. We want T or double T? Double. Double T. Excellent. What is the simple pass for happened? Happened. Happened. Excellent. Happened. Right. Yes. What is the simple pass for say? Said. Say. Okay, this one is pronounced like said. 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 Yes. Now, what is the simple past for no? New. 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 Perfect. And what is the simple past for try? Try. 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 Perfect. And what is the simple past for cooked? Cooked. 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 Perfect. And what is the simple past for turn? Turned. Or turned. Turned. Oh, perfect. Okay, excellent. Well done. Okay, so now um, give me one example using a stop in pass. One sentence. Mm -hmm. Using a stop. Stop. Yes. Uh, the the last. Okay, continue. Okay, let's see. Um, First, Carlos and then Nelson. Okay, Carlos. The bus stopped before the um, bus station yesterday. Before. Okay. All right. Could be. Nelson? Okay. I stopped the car in front of your house. Perfect. Yes. Well done. Um, oh, I added up like three L's. It was two. Okay, perfect. So give me one example using sent past. Yesterday I sent an email. Perfect. Okay, so now, okay. Oh, let me let me delete. Let me erase that. Okay, perfect. So now let's move. And it says, okay, um, this one is a reading, but this reading has a lot of mistakes 
because we need to add the verbs in past. Most of the verbs are in present, but we are talking about the past. My flight to Canada. Yeah. Do you like to travel by plane? Have you traveled by plane or not yet? Not yet. Excellent. Not yet. Okay. Because you will. All right. So now let's correct the 30 grammar mistakes below. Okay. So the first one is done for you. Last month is mm -mm, was very special. Simple pass of fly. Fly it. No. Blue. Fly. Yes. Blue. blue. Yes. Blue. blue. Yes. Very good. Aha. Uh -huh. So this one is one of the mistakes. Okay. This one. I fly by myself for the first time. I was. I was perfect, a little nervous, but it was exciting. Excellent. First, I took a taxi. Excellent. To the international airport terminal. Then, I checked, I checked in at the check in counter and walked to the departure. Lounge. Lounge at gate B64. Mm -hmm. I was early. I was early. Okay. So, I so I didn't. Excellent. I didn't have to wait a long time to go through immigration and security. Then, I wait. Simple pass of wait. 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 Waited. 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 Yes. In yes. In the departure lounge for about 25, 25 minutes. minutes. Mm -hmm. I got. I got. On the, got on the plane. But on the plane after I. Board. Board the plane. Boarded. Boarded. Board. The plane. I walked. I walked, walked along walked. the. The aisle. 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 Uh -huh. And I, I found, find found my seat. Found seat. Found. Found. Then, then I sat. I sat down. down. Perfect. Sat down. In. Fasten my seatbelt. Seat okay. I was, I was lucky. I was lucky. So, 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 I could. I could. Perfect. I could look outside as the plane takes off. Took off. Took off. After a few hours, the flight. The flight. Yeah. The Mm, pronunciation. Serve. 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 Dinner. And then I then I took I up to the I passing. Uh -huh. Next to me, his name was Eduardo, and, and I was surprised. Surprised to fall out. To find that out, this is fine. fine. Uh -huh. And to find out that he was all traveling to Vancouver to study English for a shop. Finally, I I watched, I watched, watched a and movie, movie. And then mm -hmm. our plane went and so after that. Landed. Uh -huh. Soon after that. I had I had a wonderful time in Canada. Uh -huh. It was really fun. Uh -huh. I, <laughs> made, I made I made a lot of new friends from all, from all over, over the world. Next week I will I fly back to Mexico. to Mexico. But I will never forget my time here. Forgot. Oh no, forget. forget. 
I will forget. never forget. Yeah, this yeah. is future. Okay, perfect. Really? Excellent, guys. Very good. Let's move. Okay. So now it says, make true sentences about you using the verse below in the correct form. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we are going to create eight sentences in simple past, simple past, all of them. Okay, so let's see. Uh, okay, volunteer for number one. We went on vacation. I went on vacation last summer. Excellent. Number two. I had, I had my breakfast at eight o'clock okay. this morning. Excellent. Number three. I had my breakfast yesterday. Four. Red. I read more than three books last year. Okay, pronunciation red. Red. Yeah. red. I read. Next, five. I read a book 30 minutes ago. Perfect, six. I got up early this morning. I got up. Got up, perfect, seven. I slept, I slept. at seven o'clock this morning. Excellent, and number eight. I started. For exam at middle night last night. Excellent. Very good. Perfect. Well done. Okay, now let's move. <clears throat> okay, let me ask you, okay? What did these people do last night? Number one. He sent uh, emails. He sent emails. Emails right. last Perfect. night. Mm -hmm. Very good. And what about? We had a party last night. We had a party last night. He cleaned it, the hospital. Mm -hmm. Pronunciation? Cleaned. Excellent, cleaned. Perfect, okay? All right, thank you. So now, what about these people? But this time, I need you to write down three sentences. One sentence using this picture, one this one, and one with this one, and send them to the chat, okay? Writing, writing. Do not forget capital letters at the beginning and period at the end. What did you, what did these people do last night? Uh, mm -hmm. Three sentences in simple past to the chat. And don't forget the punctuation rules. Mm. Wilbur, period. They had a meeting yesterday. They always forget, sorry. Period. Don't worry, okay, it's okay, but okay. They had a meeting last night. Yes, Rafael, excellent. Okay, next one, next sentence. They had a long conversation yesterday. Yes, Walter. Very good. They got married last night. Uh -huh. Perfect. Yes. They had a meeting the last week. Okay. Mm. My Oh, the family was in a party last night. Last night, because it's about yesterday. And the period. And also Raul, period. Okay. Period. Um, They had dinner last night. Okay. They had a meeting last weekend. Yes, Karen. My family was in the beach last weekend. Okay. They had a... Okay, analytic. In the living room, okay, in, because it was inside that place.
they had instead of saying married party, uh, we can say wedding party, como una fiesta de boda, vea. Entonces, they had a wedding party last night. The family played with Sandy last Saturday. With Sandy, okay. With Sandy, okay? Yes, or with Sand. I don't know. Maybe if you say arena, it is sand without why. My family was in the beach last weekend. They, we had the family, we had. Okay, yes, they got married last night. My family went to the beach last Sunday. Yes, but do not forget that uh, proper nouns should go in capital letters. So Sunday should go in capital letters, Nelson. They spent funny time yesterday on the beach, period. Raul, last night I had a meeting with my old friends. My best friend got married last night. My family and I found something rarely in the sand last night. Without coma, uh, the last one, Glenda, without coma, okay? We celebrated my wedding yesterday. They looked last night. Walter, last night, uh, they celebrated New Year in the park. Yes, correct. Okay, let me see. I'm still missing. My family went. My family went to the beach last month. Went to went to the beach. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, I have another one. Oh, listen. They had a great gathering and party too. Period. Punto y final. Punto y final, guys. Yeah, I can see that most of you did add, okay? Did add the period, but some of you are still missing the period. El puntito y final en la oración. Do not forget. And whenever you have proper nouns, remember to add capital letters, okay? Don't forget about that. I went to the hospital today because my kids got sick. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, okay. Very good. Okay, guys, uh, let me see. I'm really, really sorry. Okay, yes, okay. We hope you get better, Jensi, and your kids as well. Okay, so write questions with that past symbol. Okay, we need to reorder, reorder the questions, okay? Number one, what is the question? When by you no. no when the tablet simple past remember that we're talking about when did you buy the tablet simple past remember when that we're talking about when did you buy the tablet just about yes when did you buy that tablet okay because it's simple past so we need to add the auxiliary mm -hmm. number two how much cost did you new uh, new computer computer? Mm -hmm. How much? How much did you cost? Did you know computer? Did did you new computer? Mm -hmm. Yes. Cost. Mm -hmm. Very good. What about number three? What did you do after school yesterday? What do you do after school? Yesterday. Yesterday. Okay, perfect. Number four, give me one second. Okay, number four. Why well, you didn't call me Why last night? Didn't. Why? Call. Didn't. You did not. Mm, didn't. Why didn't? Call, call me last night. No. What did you? What did you? you call me last night. 
call me last night. Yeah. Excellent. Like that. Okay. Why didn't you call me last night? Mm -hmm. Five. Where did save? Mm. Where does? Mm. Where, where did, did that? That. Uh, where did that save? Save. In the photos on the computer. The photos on the computer. Okay. Yes. What about number six? Which files did you delete? Excellent. Which file? Excellent. Which file? Delete. Five. Delete. Seven. Delete. How many copies did Gary print yesterday? How many copies did Gary print yesterday? Okay. Very good. And the last one. Okay. Very good. And the last one. Steve Jobs did Which help open to start. Steve Jobs did help to start. Mm -hmm. Number eight. Number eight. Which company did the Steve Jobs help to start? Which company did the Steve Jobs help to start? Okay. Help to start. Okay. Very good. Help to start. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I hear my voice. Okay, guys. Uh, do you have any question? Any doubt right now about this? No, this is a review uh, only. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So let's move. Well, I'm going to take the attendance right now. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance. So please say present. Okay, once you hear your name. Okay. Ana Lorena Lovato. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Present. Thank you. Blanca Jennifer Torres. Present. Carlos Alberto Domínguez. Carlos Alberto Domínguez. Carlos Eduardo Torres. Present. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Arias. Present. Thank you. César Romero Amaya. Cesar. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Eulice Torres. Present. Okay, Eulice. Eh, Fátima Noemi Umaña. Fátima. Glenda Toledo. Present. Thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal. I'm here. Thank you. Hosman Atilio Serrano. Hosman Atilio Serrano. Present. Thank you, Hosman. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Karen Lisette Sanchez. Okay, thank you, Karen. Eh, Catherine Indira Velasquez Castro. Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thank you. Rafael Alexander. Present. Eh, Raúl Ernesto González. Present. Okay, thank you. I cannot turn on my microphone, but I'm here. Okay. Eh, Rosa del Carmen Enríquez. Present. Thank you. Susana Milena Cruz. Well, I saw your message. Walter David Diaz. Present. Thank you. Wilber Alberto Perez. Present. And Jancy Azucena Sanchez. Yes. Present. I think Jancy. Where is Jancy? Okay. Thank you. We are going to take the first listening, okay? Vamos a tomar el primer listening. Yeah. So let me send the link right here. That is the link, guys, on the chat. And the passcode is going to be listening, capital letters. Okay, listening, capital letters, full name, please. Listening, number one. Listening, number one. 
<clears throat> Let me know once you're in. I'm in. Thank you. I am in. I'm in. Perfect, guys. Okay. So I'm going to play the listening. Well, who is not ready? Who is not? Who is not ready? I never, have, ready. Been I never have been ready. <laughs> okay, my God, Wilbur. <laughs> okay, thank you, Yancy. Okay, so here we go, guys. I'm going to play this. This is so easy. This one, it is easy. This one, yes, it is easy. Um, okay, here we go. Hey, sis, are you interested in buying some books for school? You can really save money that way. Well, what do you have? Well, let's see. I have a science book called Today's World, and I'm selling it for $30. 30 That's a little expensive for a beat-up book like that. Oh, well, maybe so, but I bought it for 60 Plus, I wrote a lot of notes in the book that should help you with the class, if you can read my writing. What else are you selling? Okay, I have an English writing textbook for $14, a math book for 23 and a novel for only 7 bucks. Uh, hmm. hey, what's up to you? You know, these things go fast. I mean, you have to listen to my advice as your older brother. <laughs> I'll take the English book and the novel. I need both of those for sure. I think I'll hold off on buying other books for now. Okay. Teachers are always changing their minds about textbooks. All right. And what are those books? Which one? Ah. Uh, uh, nothing. Uh, wait, 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 never wait. mind. Finding your perfect someone. You're selling oh. it for forty dollars. What? What's this all about? And the price? Well, you know, it's a, it's just a marital relations class. You know about finding a partner. You know, mom's always, you know, on me about that. And what does it matter to you anyway? Forty dollars. It's a little expensive. Well, they guarantee results. But uh, never mind. You would never understand. What about this one? Introduction to gourmet cooking. Why'd you um, take this class? You hate cooking. Well, um, I have a friend who's into cooking, and she's... She? I, I mean, my friend's taking the class. I mean, uh, does it really matter? A marriage class, a close female friend, <laughs> no. a cooking textbook. I, I think I get the picture. Mom's going to be excited about this. Oh, you got it all wrong. So do you want to buy any of these textbooks or not? <laughs> All right, the last time. Okay, here we go. Hey, sis, are you interested in buying some books for school? You can really save money that way. Well, what do you have? Well, let's see. I have a science book called Today's World, and I'm selling it for $30. 30 That's a little expensive for a beat-up book like that. Oh, well, maybe so, but I bought it for 60 Plus, I wrote a lot of notes in the book that should help you with the class, if you can read my writing. What else are you selling? Okay, I have an English writing textbook for fourteen dollars, a math book for twenty-three, and a novel for only seven bucks. Uh, hmm. hey, what's up to you? You know these things go fast. I mean, you have to listen to my advice as your older brother. <laughs> I'll take the English book and the novel. I need both of those for sure. I think I'll hold off on buying other books for now. Okay. Teachers are always changing their minds about textbooks. All right. And what are those books? Which one? Uh, uh, nothing. Uh, wait, 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 never wait. mind. Finding your perfect someone. If you're selling oh. it for forty dollars, what what's this all about in the price? Well, you know, it's a it's just a marital relations class. You know about finding a partner. You know, mom's always you know on me about that. And what does it matter to you anyway? Forty dollars. It's a little expensive. Well, they guarantee results. But uh, never mind, you would never understand. What about this one, Introduction to Gourmet Cooking? Why'd um, you take this class? You hate cooking. Well, um, I have a friend who's into cooking, and she's... She? I, I mean, my friend's taking the class. I mean, uh, does it really matter? A marriage class, a close female friend, <laughs> no. a cooking textbook. I, I think I get the picture. Mom's going to be excited about this. Oh, you got it all wrong. So do you want to buy any of these textbooks or not? Okay. Ready or do you need me to play it an extra time? Another time. The, okay, the last time, okay? The last time. Here we go. 
Hey sis, are you interested in buying some books for school? You can really save money that way. Well, what do you have? Well, let's see. I have a science book called Today's World, and I'm selling it for thirty dollars. Thirty? That's a little expensive for a beat-up book like that. Oh, well, maybe so, but I bought it for sixty. Plus, I wrote a lot of notes in the book that should help you with the class if you can read my writing. What else are you selling? Okay, I have an English writing textbook for fourteen dollars, a math book for twenty-three, and a novel for only seven bucks. Uh, hmm. hey, what's up to you? You know these things go fast. I mean, you have to listen to my advice as your older brother. <laughs> I'll take the English book and the novel. I need both of those for sure. I think I'll hold off on buying other books for now. Okay. Teachers are always changing their minds about textbooks. All right. And what are those books? Which one? Ah,、uh, ah,、uh, nothing. Wait, wait, uh, wait, never wait. mind. Finding your perfect someone. You're selling、oh. it for forty dollars. What? What's this all about? And the price? Well, you know, it's a. It's just a marital relations class, you know about finding a partner. You know, mom's always, you know, on me about that. And what does it matter to you anyway? Forty dollars. It's a little expensive. Well, they guarantee results. But、uh, never mind. You would never understand. What about this one? Introduction to gourmet cooking. Why'd、um, you take this class? You hate cooking. Well. Um, I have a friend who's into cooking, and she's. A, She. I mean, my friend's taking the class. I mean,、uh, does it really matter? A marriage class, a close female friend, <laughs>、no. a cooking textbook. I, I think I get the picture. Mom's gonna be excited about this. Oh, you got it all wrong. So, do you want to buy any of these textbooks or not? Okay, submit your answers. Let me see your scores. Okay. Was it difficult? Yes, I think that it was kind of difficult, right? Let me see. Okay. Um. All right, guys. So let's move. Let's move and let's continue with the following. All right. Give me one second. I'm going to share my screen. Yes. Okay. Let's move. Let's keep practicing. Right now, we are going to move to complete the email. Okay, we are going to complete this email using the simple past. Okay, so it says, "Hi, Lucille. Yesterday was very busy. In the morning, I shaved. Shaved. All right. Brushed. Brushed my teeth. In. In the." Clean the whole house all before eight thirty. Then I worked worked until noon. After lunch, lunch. Listen, listen. I listened. Listen. Listen. The weather report. The weather was warm. Well, was warm. Well, was was warm. So I bite it. Invited. Invited all my grandchildren here. We talk, 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 talked, talked together for a while. Then little Mary played the piano while her older brother Jason exercised, exercised, exercised. With tea、okay. because right in the garden, the other children checked, checked, checked their email, their email while I watched, watched, watched with tea. Watched. Excellent. Then Mary and Jason. In the end of today, 
Again. Dora, Lisa, and Evie. Came home and day. And day. Cooked. Yes. Dinner for the love. Ups. The kids want. Wanted. The kids wanted. Want. Mm -hmm. Pasta. Pasta. Of course. Yeah. Evie boiled. 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 Then children children study after dinner and then we'll marry and listen. Okay. So then listened and this one washed. Okay, wash with tea. Yeah. Okay, guys, take a look at the pictures and we are going to decide um, what things Carmen did yesterday night. Okay, number one. What did she do? She had the exam. She did the exam last day. Okay. She didn't so, uh, uh, before. She didn't study before, she did an exam. Took yeah. an exam. She took an exam, correct. Okay. Took. You take exams. You do not, well, unless if you are a teacher, yes, you do exams because you create exams. But if not, you take, take the exams. Okay. So she took an exam. What else? What else can you tell me about picture number one using the simple past? What else can you tell me? She so had a headache. She had a headache. Okay, what else? She didn't study for the exam. She didn't study for the exam. Okay, what about picture number two? They didn't like the... the... They didn't like the movie, okay? What else? She turned up the cell phone. She turned off the turn turn on the cell phone, okay? Okay, and what about picture number three? What can you tell me about picture number three using the simple past? She worked in her house. She worked in her house. What else? She bought a, a shirt. Okay, she she bought a, a chair. Okay, what else? What else can you tell me about this? She, she sent an email. She sent an email. Okay, perfect. Yeah. She created a presentation. Yeah. Mm, what else? Mm -hmm. She used the keyboard. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about picture number four? What can you tell me? She took a rest. She took a rest, okay, a break. Mm -hmm. She took a break. What else? She watched the television. She watched the television. Huh? What else? She was relaxed. Yeah. Yes, okay, very good. Excellent. All right, so now... Let's put the words in order to make questions again, okay? So let's see, number one. Did you see your friends last night? Yes, did you see your friends last night? Number two. Did you go grocery shopping last weekend? Grocery shopping last weekend. Mm -hmm. Number three. Did you, did you, did you watch a movie last watch night? A movie last night. Four. 
Yes. In number six. Did you have a party last Saturday? Well done. Yes. Very good. Okay, guys. Now let's complete this one. Okay. But first, um, what we're going to do is that as you can see right here, we have the verbs in parentheses. Yeah. So let's see. Last summer holiday, Mary. Went, went to Miami. Went we went care to Miami. family. She was, she was, was excited, excited, excited for the for journey the because it was, was the first, first time, first time traveled, she traveled, traveled by, by airplane. 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 They, stayed. They, stayed they stayed at, at the, the hotel. hotel? hotel? Hotel. The weather was, was, was sunny and was very hot. In the, in the morning, morning they, they usually went to the beach. Mary likes, likes and the children like the, the sun. Okay. Love and the children love uh, play. play in the sand. Okay, love playing, playing, okay. So Mary, so Mary, and Mary and mom, 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 Okay. Swam. 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 Yes. Okay. Repeat after me and say sand castles. Sand castles. Sand castles. Castles. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys. So now we are going to work in teams. Okay. So we have from one to six right here, and you are going to write down the sentences. Once you are done, please send them to the WhatsApp group. Okay. Not here to the WhatsApp group. Okay. Once you have completed all of those sentences, all of those sentences from one to six to the WhatsApp group, yeah? I'll give you around four minutes because this is so easy for you, okay? This is just a review, okay? Once you are done, you need to send the sentences to the WhatsApp group, okay? Oh, I'm going to give permission. I'm going to allow the sharing, let me see. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so here we go. From one to six, okay? From one to six, um, you need to write down the sentences in simple past and then send them to the WhatsApp group, okay? In Teams, okay? Everybody needs to participate, okay? Glenda, I think that you are alone, but it's because Anna is having some issues with the internet. Okay. Oh, yeah, she's coming. She's coming. Hi, Anna. <clears throat> Hi. Okay. I'm looking at the sentence. <clears throat> so how are you? How was your day? Um, something teacher. Oh. That's why I turn off the camera. Okay. Yes, I was sick. You know. Well, I'm I'm getting better, but I was sick as well. I think that the flu is yeah like yeah. It's everybody has. Yeah, everybody has it. Okay, and your your day, eh, Anna? How was it? 
I worked all day. It was time. And found a uh, big traffic. Oh, yes. I think that, that that is the most exhausting thing, right? The traffic. Yes, yes I know. Okay. <laughs> yes, I know. I, I understand and I, I can I can understand that. Okay, let me see. I will send. Okay, if you want, you can start right with the sentences. Okay. Um, I'm I'm writing what's up the sentences. Yes. Okay, if you want to to uh, to send me the answers, and I'm going to write in the in the group. Okay. I'm writing the first. <clears throat> Recording in progress. Hello. Hi. Do you have hi? Hi, hello. Oh yes, we sent the the sentences at the WhatsApp group. All right, please. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Right. Uh, right. Uh, right. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. I think the second is his brother son. Road. 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 Road is bicycle. Mm -hmm. Road is bicycle, correct. And three is day. They come with it. Camp is camp, or oh, it's another verb with it. Mm -hmm. And four is Mr. Bro throw throw downtown to visit her friend and stand out morning. Draw T R O B right. And five, Mr. Bro. Mr. Bro was. Yes, was. Fishing at the, at the lake. Uh, was or went? Uh, no, it went, yes. Right, it went. Yes, yes. it went. Stick is they had mm -hmm. with me together in the afternoon. Okay, yes. Mr. Brown. Up. 
Okay. Okay, sense. Mm. Okay, Finish. perfect. All right. So scroll down. Let me see. Let me see the messages. But scroll down. Okay. Okay. So now give me number seven. Give me the, the questions. The, I'm sorry, the answers, okay. Mm. For the seven. Yeah, it's red on Sunday afternoon. Michael read a book about dinosaur. It is time. Okay. Um, eight. Yes. His mother worked in the garden. Yes. Worked. Worked. Mm -hmm. uh, nine. Mm -hmm. They. Eight popcorn and watched TV in the evening. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Tom, ten, Tom and Sally played together all weekend. Okay. Eight. Uh, Eleven. The their cat Fluffy um, slept. Excellent. On the sofa week. And the last one, okay. their dog is not washed fluffy. Perfect. Yes, guys. Okay, so let me just check. Um, okay, so Jen, she says, give me one second, guys. Um, okay, Bobby swam on the beach on Saturday morning. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. I think that you all finished. Okay. Let me, let me call you back. Let's go. Okay. Perfect. All right, guys. So let's move. Okay. Uh, Raul, Number seven, create number seven. Sorry. <laughs> on, the, on Sunday afternoon, Mike read a book about dinosaurs. Pronunciation read. Red. Red. <laughs> Simple pass, don't worry. A hostman number eight. His mother worked in the garden. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Anna, number nine. You are muted, Anna. Uh, okay. Hi. They uh, ate, uh, ate popcorn and watched TV in the evening. Thank you. Glenda, number 10. Is Glenda here? Number 10. Yes. On Sunday afternoon, Michael read a book about dinosaurs. 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 But it is number 10. Number 10, Glenda. Ah, sorry. Uh, Tom and Sally play it together all weekend. Thank you. Susanna, number 11. Mm, okay, Susana is not there. Uh, Rafael, number 11. The cat, Fluffy, 
slept on the sofa all weekend. Oh, slept. Slept. Yes. And number 12, Nelson. Their dog spot watched fluffy. Fluffy. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Now it's time for us to take the grammar quiz. The grammar. Okay. Let me send that link. The one that says simple pass. Okay. If you are uh, in the spreadsheet, the one that says simple pass. Okay. That is a link. And the passcode is English. 2023. Simple past, okay? This is about simple past and vocabulary as well. Simple past and vocabulary. Okay. Take it and once you are done, let me know. Okay? You have around six minutes. Okay? Think about your answer. Okay, I got Rafael. Let me see. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Okay, I got Ana. I got Andrea. I got Carlos, Eduardo, Raul, Wilbur. Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. I go Rosa. Teacher, I have a, a little question in the number five. Mm. There is missing a word because uh, the correct answer is why did the teacher to check no. or only check? Just check. To check, right? No, just check. Why? Yes. I will explain that in a minute, okay? Okay. Yes. Thanks. All right. Okay, I got Ana, Andrea, Carlos, Glenda, Jose, Rafael, Raul, Rosa, Wilbur. Am I missing someone? Yes, I think that I'm missing some of you. Okay. Uh, let me see. Mm. Okay, let's check um, one of, of um, Okay, let's have the example, this one, okay. So. Um, okay, guys, let's see. Okay, so we are going to review, okay, the answers. So we have number one, are you familiar for this area? No, right? It should be with this area. Number two, why did you go to the library? To get some books to read, yeah? Number three, which sentence is in the simple past? This one is, Present perfect. This is no simple past. This is simple past. She read a book. Number four, choose the correct question. I saw that some of you added this one, number one, but no, because remember that we have the auxiliary, so the verb should go in base form. So did you see her? No, did you saw her? Now this one. Form the question in simple past, and we have why to check the teacher, the computer. Remember that in English, whenever you see this, this is called infinitive. Okay, so this is an infinitive. So we do not add the two. I mean, even though you see it, we do not add it. So we have why did the teacher check the computer? We cannot add two. But most of the time you are going to see um, the questions like this with two. But that doesn't mean that you need to add it. This is infinitive. And this is the correct way to add verbs in the, in the infinitive form. Mm -hmm. En algunas ocasiones los maestros quitan este, el tú. Y eso lo dejan el verbo para que el alumno no se confunda. Pero ustedes deben de saber que la forma correcta es así. Porque cuando usted ya no ve, ve así, entonces se lo agrega. Pero no, usted tiene que saber que cuando usted lo ve así, eso se llama infinitivo. Y la mayoría de los exámenes son diseñados así. Los que son estándares, como el de Cambridge, right? Esos son diseñados así. No significa que usted le va a agregar el to. No. Porque, o sea, que si, o sea uh -huh. perdón, o sea que si se lo hubiera puesto en la correcta, why did, why did the teacher to check the computer, estaba mala también. También. 
no, no yes. también estaba mala, porque el tú no se incluye. No, nunca. ¿Ok? Nunca se va a incluir. Solamente va a ser el verbo en su forma base. Por eso es que se, cuando ponemos las estructuras, ponemos verb in base form. No infinitive, porque si, pues, eh, si agregáramos infinitive, entonces sí, sería este. Pero no, decimos verbo en su forma base, base form. Uh -huh. Ok, then this one, simple past, right? I loved the cake you made me last week. Uh -huh. My mother used to cook on Sundays. Didn't you used to swim? Yes, because it's uh, present, uh, verb in base form, swim. Allison used to be, yes, very good. And this one, okay. Um, we had how long and how long ago. In order for us to talk about the past is how long ago. How long ago did Jane and Ted get married? Mm -hmm. How long is this how long? present perfect? For example, How long have you been practicing English? How long have you been studying English? But for the simple past, is how long ago. This one is for present perfect. Yeah. I have, a, I, I have a question for the number seven. Seven. Yeah. For example, it says my mother used to cook on Sundays, but Sundays is now every Sunday because uh, I, uh, for example, my mother cook every Sundays because Sundays is a lot of Sunday. I don't know if you understand. Que no precisamente es en pasado, sino que puede ser cualquier sábado. Uh -huh. <laughs> Porque son todos los domingos que mi madre cocina, entonces no es que suele cocinar todos los domingos. Uh -huh. In that case, my mom or my mother cooks every Sunday. Cada domingo. Entonces, cuando usted dice every Sunday, si decimos cada domingo, son todos los domingos. Y cuando es todos los domingos, le quito la S. Yes, le quita la S. Ah, ah ok, ok, ok. Yes, yes. yes. Every Sunday. Mm -hmm. okay. ok. Thank you. Very good. Any other doubt? Any other doubt? No? Okay, guys. Um, well, this is uh, this was just for us to make sure, right? Like the the uh, the general knowledge. But I think that we are on the correct track. Okay, so don't worry about it. Okay, but please try to study. Okay, try to study. If you if you know that uh, you made some mistakes, right? With uh, with the simple past, right? So try to study simple past. Yeah. I can see that some of you got uh, low scores, okay? Um, let's see, let's move. And now let's take the second listening practice, okay? The other exam, the listen. And there you go. And the passcode is listening, that one. Okay. Well, this time I'm not going to say that it's easy, okay? But let me see. No lo he recibido. No? No. Deme ver. Si lo mandé solamente privado a alguien. No? To everyone says. Uh, let me resend it. Now? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys. Let me know once you are in. I'm going to play the re okay. So from the very beginning, I'm going to play it three times. Three times, okay. Teacher, no me ha I'm going to reset. Te lo voy a reenviar. Vaya, mira. Thank you. Okay, let me know. 
No. El problema creo que es que aparece con una hora como que hubiese sido enviado hace bastante, pero es el, el actual porque a mí me aparece a las 8 y cuarto y son las 9 y 25 y quizás por eso nos confundimos un poco si era el anterior. I believe. Quizás. ¿verdad? Yo tengo la hora correcta. Pero... Me aparece a la hora correcta. Ah, ok. A mí me aparece a las 8 y 15. Puede ser que tu eh, región esté mal configurada. No, la región no, no, no. de tu computadora. Ok. Mira, Andrea, si le parece ahora. No me aparece. El último mensaje que me sale es donde dice wait a moment. De ahí no me aparece nada más. Ok. Quizás. Yo lo estoy mandando ahí. <risa> Hasta acá. Yeah. Ah. Okay. ok. Ya cayeron todos de un yeah. solo. Ya le cayó. Ya todos de un solo, sí. Ok. Sí, it was stop, right? My God. Ok, Raúl, thank you. Yes, the, the password is the same. Ok, the password is the same. Eh, ok. Let's wait for Andrea. Let me know, Andrea, once you're ready. Okay, Andrea. Yes. Ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. Hi, this is Stephanie. I can't answer the phone right now. I'm away, but feel free to call, leave a message, or text. All right, bye. <coughs> Uh, hello? Oh, uh, yeah. Hi, Stephanie. Or, Stephanie, oh, I can't do this. Oh, okay, okay. Hi, Stephanie. My name is Ronald, but my friends call me Ron. My parents call me, well, forget about that. Uh, I'm originally from Canada, but I grew up in Texas. I'm 24 years old, and uh, I graduated from high school about five years ago, and I'm the manager of an exotic pet shop. We carry all kinds of birds and snakes and spiders and fish. We even have one snake that is about four meters long, but I keep him at home. And, uh, oh yeah, my hobbies. I hunt and fish and ride horses in my free time. My favorite foods are beef, beef, and beef. I don't eat many vegetables except potatoes with my beef. And, oh yeah. I eat apples and beef sometimes. I have two brothers. Both of them live with me because they don't have jobs. And my mom lives with me, and I have three dogs, Brutus, Charlie, and Samantha. Oh, and one more thing. This might seem strange, but I enjoy reading poetry. So that's about it. I hope to hear from you. You can call me if you want. The number is 789-1350. Yeah, uh, right. Catch you later, alligator. Oh, oh that's so stupid. Oh, oh, goodbye. Okay. Eh, Jennifer, you can't access. ¿Puedo entrar, Jennifer? ¿O oh, no? Well, okay. She's not there. No, I can't. But why? Okay, but the password is listening in capital letters. Try, intente. Okay, so let's see. Here we go. Hi, 
Hi, this is Stephanie. I can't answer the phone right now. I'm away. But feel free to call, leave a message, or text. All right, bye. Uh, hello? Oh, uh, yeah. Hi, Stephanie. Or, Stephanie, oh, I can't do this. Oh, okay, okay. Hi, Stephanie. My name is Ronald, but my friends call me Ron. My parents call me, well, forget about that. Uh, I'm originally from Canada, but I grew up in Texas. I'm 24 years old, and uh, I graduated from high school about five years ago, and I'm the manager of an exotic pet shop. We carry all kinds of birds and snakes and spiders and fish. We even have one snake that is about four meters long, but I keep him at home. And, uh, oh yeah, my hobbies. I hunt and fish and ride horses in my free time. My favorite foods are beef, beef, and beef. I don't eat many vegetables except potatoes with my beef. And, oh yeah, I eat apples and beef sometimes. I have two brothers. Both of them live with me because they don't have jobs. And my mom lives with me, and I have three dogs, Brutus, Charlie, and Samantha. Oh, and one more thing. This might seem strange, but I enjoy reading poetry. So that's about it. I hope to hear from you. You can call me if you want. The number is 789-1350. Yeah, uh, right. Catch you later, alligator. Oh, oh that's so stupid. Oh, oh, goodbye. Okay. Let me see. I can't. Okay, Jennifer, but okay. I don't, I don't know. Um, Raul sent the link to the WhatsApp group. So see if you can access. Uh, you can access from it. Mira, se puede entrar desde el link de WhatsApp. And let me know. Yeah, that that's right, uh, Anna. I can see that um in my chat it says twenty twenty three. Well, I think that that was one that she sent a long time ago. I don't know. Sí, el chat está como raro. Me sale que ha mandado un mensaje, pero quizás no. Okay. Um, Ready or do you need the extra time? Yeah, you need it? Okay. Let's see. Here we go. Hi, this is Stephanie. I can't answer the phone right now. I'm away. But feel free to call, leave a message, or text. All right, bye. <coughs> Uh, hello? Oh, uh, yeah. Hi, Stephanie. Or, Stephanie, oh, I can't do this. Oh, okay, okay. Hi, Stephanie. My name is Ronald, but my friends call me Ron. Mm -hmm. My parents call me, well, forget about that. Uh, I'm originally from Canada, but I grew up in Texas. I'm 24 years old, and uh, I graduated from high school about five years ago, and I'm the manager of an exotic pet shop. We carry all kinds of birds and snakes and spiders and fish. We even have one snake that is about four meters long, but I keep him at home. And, uh, oh yeah, my hobbies. I hunt and fish and ride horses in my free time. My favorite foods are beef, beef, and beef. I don't eat many vegetables except potatoes with my beef. And, oh yeah. I eat apples and beef sometimes. I have two brothers. Both of them live with me because they don't have jobs. And my mom lives with me, and I have three dogs, Brutus, Charlie, and Samantha. Oh, and one more thing.
This might seem strange, but I enjoy reading poetry. So that's about it. I hope to hear from you. You can call me if you want. The number is 789-1350. Yeah, uh, right. Catch you later, alligator. Oh, oh that's so stupid. Oh, oh, goodbye. Okay. Now, yes, guys, submit your answers. Let me see. I got three one hundreds. Okay, three. Then I got eighties. I got sixties. Okay. All right, guys. Very good. So right now, what we are going to do is the following. Um, I want you to please open the following link, the one that I'm going to send. Okay, please open this one. Uh, this one. Um, if you are in the spreadsheet, you will find it where it says um, class eight, and you say uh, you see interviewing a classmate, interviewing a classmate. Open that link, and what we are going to do is the following: you are going to interview your classmate, but you are going to do the following dynamic. Okay. What we are going to do is that you are going to prepare. Let me share my screen. It says indications. As students will interview their classmates by answering the questions on the next page. Yeah, it is a role play. Okay, so one is going to be the interviewer and the other one is going to be the celebrity. Yeah, you can choose whatever celebrity you want. Yeah, so and you are going to follow this role play. Okay, so easy. But I want to know your creativity, right? If you want, you can add extra information. And if not, it's okay. Just follow the role play, okay? I'll give you around five minutes for you to prepare. And then we're going to have teams to present. You are going to work in pairs, okay? So please open that link. And we are going to move to different rooms, okay? Here we go. Yes, um... Do you have the link? Not the chicken. Open. Try okay. to open. Yeah, try to open it again. Anna? Hello, teacher. Uh, I don't understand that when I can find the link. Where you can find it? Um, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, open it. And let me know if you have issues. If you open it. Yes. Ready? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Jose. How are you? 
Hello, Mr. Raul. I'm okay. Thanks for asking. And this night, we want to know more about you. Sure. Tell me. I can answer any question that you have. Ms. Rosa del Carmen, uh, what do you do in your free time? I... I read the book and I listen music. I listen to music. To music. I I listen listen to music. Very good. So, Thank you. Do you play uh, any instrument? Thank you, Mr. Torres. That's it. You are so friendly. Oh, thank you. You are around. Okay. So let's practice it together. I don't like to hear. Go, guys. Okay. Empezamos a intercambiar. Uh, if you like to do the same. Okay. Hello, Mr. Torres. How are you? Hello, Mr. Perez. I'm okay. Thank you for asking. This night, we want to know more about you. Sure. Tell me, I can answer any question that you have. Mr. Torres, what do you do in your free time? Um, I like to play video games. Thank you. Do you play any instruments? Yes, I play piano. What music do you like? I like the um, alternative music. Okay, that's so great. And do you have a pet? Yes, I do. I have a, a dog and two cats. What languages do you speak? Oh, I speak uh, Spanish and English. Thank you, Mr. Torres. Uh, that's it. You are so friendly. Oh, thank you. See you around. See you around. See you around. What were you doing at 10 p.m. yesterday? Mm, I tried to do my homework, but I didn't. But I didn't complete it because I was sleeping. Yes, I imagine, Wilbur. And you, Carlos, what were you doing at 10 p.m. yesterday? Uh, well, after class, I took a shower and then ah. I, I checked my Facebook and then I and slept. <laughs> okay, tell me about something you did with your friends or family recently, Wilbert. I didn't, I didn't answer your question. To tell. Oh, tell me about something you did with your friends or family recently? Recently, um, we had a, 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 a cousin birthday uh, this weekend. Oh, okay. So you had a party? Yes, it was uh, a, a family lunch. A family, a family lunch. Perfect. What about you, Carlos? With my, my friend, my on Saturday, I played the, the video games and then we had a, a dinner. And on Sunday, yes. I wasn't on Sunday at night. Okay. On Sunday, on Sunday I went out with my girlfriend made eight on the at Mercado Central. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Right. So, uh, Wilbury, what was your favorite thing to do in high school? <laughs> Escape. This game, uh, Escondidas. Why? 
I don't know. It, it was so exciting because with my friends, we went to party. We went to play soccer. Uh, we went to eat pupusas. I don't know anything we any idea we had. Oh my God, Wilbur. Okay, <laughs> mm, Wilbur, you were terrible. Okay, I was no, no, actually not, not. Okay, <laughs> okay, but currently no. Right? No, because of my sons. <laughs> ah, okay, Wilbur. So now, okay, so I understand. Okay, Wilbur. Um, como escaparse a escondidas, puede decir sneaking out. Can you write it, please? Yes, on the chat. Look at the chat. Okay. okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Como esconder. Como, eh, sí, como um, irse a escondidas, como escabullirse, como en escondidas. Es, sneaking out. But in past, this thing. Eh, no, that is going to be a sneaked out. Ah, it's mixed out loud, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So now, what time did you get up this morning, Carlos? Um, I got up at 6 p.m. 6 a.m.? Up at, yes, I'm sorry, 6 a.m., yes. Okay. Yes. Great. All right. And Wilbur. What did you do yesterday? Tell me three things that you did yesterday. What did I do yesterday? Well, I get up earlier than the last weekend. Uh, I did coffee when I get to the work. And I hide my breakfast. You ate breakfast, and you, Carlos, what did you do? Uh, yesterday, I went to the uh, Walmart because I bought the the cat. The cat food? Uh, the, yes, the food for the cat. I don't know if cat food or... Cat food, okay, yes. All right. Perfect. Okay, guys, let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's go back. Yes, okay. We are almost done. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, let me see. Um. Okay, who was having issues with the internet? I'm not sure, but I got a message on the WhatsApp group. And Nelson, can you please tell us um, what time did you get up this morning? I can't remember. Uh, maybe I get up at, I, I got up, I got up at uh, 7 a.m. Okay. And you, Walter, what were you doing at 10 p.m. yesterday? At 10 p.m. after the class, mm -hmm. I had to, to prepare the, the notebooks of my daughter. Oh, my God. Really? Okay. Yeah. So and, you, you uh, went, uh -huh. And we had to to do some homework some homework okay yeah. okay so you studied uh, after the class again yeah. right okay 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 you are a good father yes of course okay. <laughs> yes okay imagine so late right and what about you hostman what were you doing at 10 p.m yesterday i got the draw my car you you were uh washing your car or driving it? Driver, my car. You drove your car. Oh my god, really at that time at 10 p.m. Yeah, because that shopping and the supermarket. <laughs> oh, you went to yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you went to buy some things. Okay, got it. All right. Okay, so late, Hostman. 
<laughs> yes. All right. Anna, what was your favorite thing to do in high school? What did you enjoy doing in high school? Do you remember? Mm. High school bachillerato. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, uh -huh. What's your favorite thing? Mm -hmm. Maybe I participate in um, banda musical, no sé cómo se dice. Um, musical band? Musical band? Yes, it would be. Man, banda musical, right? Así mm -hmm. es. Uh -huh. Yes. Banda musical, okay. Yeah. Um, this is my favorite thing. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Can you sing? No, uh, I dance. You can dance? Yes, I was a cachorra. <laughs> Very awesome. good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Dance, like. dance. <laughs> okay. Play the music. No, okay. All right, guys. Okay, so let's see. Um, Carlos, uh, Carlos Eduardo, what do you do? Oh, well, I asked you that one, I think. And what time do you go to bed last night, Carlos? Carlos Eduardo? Okay, and the last night I slept at 11 p.m. 11 p.m., okay. And what about you, Rafael? What time did you go to bed last night? I went uh, to bed uh, what? What at what p.m. 12, so late. Yeah. Oh my God, guys, you go to bed so late and you wake up at what time, Rafael? Um, well, my alarm is configured to 4 a.m. But, but I wake up at 6. <laughs> Come on, Rafael. Okay. Okay, so now, when you want to say that, que su alarma está configurada a cierta hora, eh, vamos a decir, my alarm is set. Is set. set. Ah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Mm, at 4 a.m. and then you went to sleep and then you woke up at 6. Okay. All right. And what about you, Ana? What time did you go to bed last night? I... Went to the bed, uh, to bed uh, at uh, 1 a.m. 1 a.m.? Yes. Why? <laughs> because he's <Everybody's> younger. <laughs> oh my God, okay. So, uh -huh. you were working? No, I tried to uh, make uh, some exercise okay. uh, before. No, after class. Oh, okay. Like exercise, physical exercise? Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Oh, my God. At 1 a.m. And you woke up at what time? Uh, 7 a.m. A.m. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you slept around 6 Five hours. 5 or 6 hours. Yes, guys. You need to sleep more. Okay. Yes. Yes, okay, so now, and what do you have for breakfast this morning, Linda? I have my breakfast every morning at 6 a.m. And what do you have for breakfast this morning? Uh, what do you have? Um, three eggs, uh, strawberries, and mozzarella cheese. Delicious. So <laughs> fit. Okay, very good. <laughs> you tried. Okay, very good. Uh, and what was the last thing you bought, Glenda? Bought. The last thing that you bought. A cover or cell phone. <laughs> okay, a cover for your cell phone. What about you, Wilbert? What was the last thing that you bought? Wow. <laughs> I don't remember. You don't remember the last thing? No, 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 because it was uh, so long. Mm -hmm. I have, uh, I have no 
Mm, I had no reason why buy anything. Okay, so it was a long time ago. Yes. You remember. Okay, and you, Raul, what was the last thing you bought? Today, I bought a, a cup of soup. <laughs> okay, okay. That was the last thing that I bought. <laughs> At Dollar City. What? Or where? Where? Uh, where did you buy it? Today in uh yeah, today this was my last oh thing but that where? I bought. Where? Where? Uh-huh. Uh I I call to ah, okay to the place in okay, you the, they deliver me. Okay, they deliver it. Okay, deliver yes, it. perfect. All right, guys. So then I just have um probably one minute, okay, for one of you to participate with the role play. Um, let me share the screen so you can read. Give me one second. Yes. Okay, so I need two volunteers before we go. Okay, before we go, two volunteers to participate with the role play. Uh -huh. Me. Okay, Me. Raul and Me. Nelson. Okay. Nelson. Yes. Okay. Uh I don't know. You decide. I am the yeah. I am the interviewer. Okay. Nelson the Okay. Uh, hello, Mr. Nelson. How are you? Hello, Mr. Raul. I'm okay. Thanks for asking. Uh this night we want to know about you. Sure, tell me. I can answer any question what do you, that you have. Okay, Mr. Nelson, what do you do in your free time? I always uh, listen to music and I always play video games. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. And do you play any instrument? No. I can't play any instrument. Mm -hmm. So tell me what what music do you like? Mm -hmm. I like uh, I like to English music and romantic music. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, that sounds great. And do you have a pet? Yes, I do. I have a dog. Mm -hmm. And what languages do you speak? At this moment, only Spanish. Oh, okay. Sadly. okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> only Spanish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're a celebrity. At the moment, at the moment. Okay. okay. Thank you, Mr. Nelson. That is, you are so friendly. Okay. Thank you. See you around. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you were a celebrity. You could have invented anything that you wanted, right? So, guys, um, what music do you like? You said, I like to English and Spanish music, I think that you said. I like to listen to, okay, music in English, okay, and Spanish, okay? Or you can say, hey, thank pop. you. Very good. All right, guys, so we're going to stop right here just because of the time, okay? So please go ahead and rest. Try to sleep early. Do not sleep late, okay? The only person that please stay with me, eh, Jose Salvador Bernal, okay? Then the other ones, go ahead and rest, okay? Yes, take care, guys. I'll see you back tomorrow, okay? Let's sleep. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 everybody. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you. Okay. Yes, yeah, see you tomorrow. Um. Okay. So, hi, uh, well, Salvador, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, Salvador. So this is the time where we are going to have the feedback. But let me let me let me refresh this. I don't know why it's not loading. But okay. So okay, Salvador, this feedback is going to be in English and Spanish. Okay, both. 
just for you mm -hmm. to practice your English, okay? And for you to express the ideas that you have as well, okay? So first of all, uh, Salvador, I'm going to ask you, okay? Uh, how long have you been uh, studying English? How long? ¿Cuánto tiempo eh, estoy aprendiendo inglés? ¿Desde yes. hace cuánto tiempo? Correcto. Uh, I start to learn English mm -hmm. el last, ¿cómo dice? ¿Hace un año? Ah, one year ago. One year ago. Ok, you started, ok. I started learning English. Dígalo. Uh, I started Learning okay. English. One year ago. ¿Cómo? One year ago. One year ago. Excellent. Very good. And, okay. Then, muy bien. Hace un año. Eh, ¿Comenzó con inglés corporativo o comenzó en una institución diferente? No, comencé en la mejor institución de, de aprendizaje del inglés. Ok. Ok. Ahora, eh, José Salvador. Es decir, inglés corporativo. Perfect. Ok. Muy bien. Ok. Um, ahora, le pregunto algo. Bueno, primeramente quiero saber cómo se ha sentido con nuestras clases, ¿sí? Eh, con el tiempo que llevamos recibiéndolas, eh, con la dinámica de la clase en general, ¿verdad? Y también eh, con las actividades que hacemos. ¿Cómo se uh -huh. ha sentido? Personalmente siento que estoy aprendiendo más. Okay. Eh, me, me gusta la dinámica que usted utiliza para las clases, okay. que apela a diferentes estrategias metodológicas que facilitan el aprendizaje. Okay. Algo que aprecio mucho de usted es, es que se nota que se prepara para las clases. Okay. Las presentaciones son bien, bien VIP, <ríe> bien okay. bonitas. Ok, thank you. Muy bonita y, y, y me gusta que eh, usted no nos anima a hablar, a hablar inglés bastante. Me gusta que usted habla solo inglés en la clase y, y creo que eso es, es bien útil. Aunque no entiendo a perfección todo, pero siento que poco a poco eh, mi oído se va adaptando. Ok, very good. Thank you, Salvador. Ok, muy bien. En realidad, pues, creo que el objetivo es que ustedes desarrollen más su speaking, ya que si usted se fija, eh, la unidad también es para desarrollar gramática, sin embargo, el, eh, el foco principal es que ustedes hablen, ¿verdad? Eh, ya que en ocasiones se les brinda mucha gramática y quizás al final, pues, eh, no, se, eh, no se alcanza la meta, que es que ustedes se puedan comunicar. Entonces, en ese caso, usted ya está en intermedio 1. Entonces, uh, en ese momento que está empezando intermedio 1, es donde usted está sintiendo como el, el cambio, ¿verdad? Básicamente de los básicos que hemos tenido anteriormente. Entonces, en este caso, pues me alegro bastante que le guste la dinámica de la clase y que también esté aprendiendo y que se sienta motivado para poder participar y hablar en el idioma, ya que ese es el objetivo que tenemos nosotros, ¿sí? Ahora, eh, ¿ha tenido alguna dificultad con la plataforma? No, ninguna. La verdad es de que ya la terminé. Y, en serio, no he revisado. Fíjese, ya voy a revisar entonces y sí. voy a anotar todo que ya terminó, ¿verdad? Porque eso es importante. Ok, excelente. Entonces, que la haya terminado ya. Lo felicito. Eh, ¿Tiene alguna duda en relación a algún tema que usted no haya comprendido hasta el momento? La verdad que, que lo que eh, necesito aprenderme son las reglas para la pronunciación del pasado simple. Eh, no las manejo, yo los pronuncio igual todo. El, parece que la, uno lleva como T al final, D al final, y, y no manejo eso. Okay. Pero es una cuestión de memorización, creo yo, ¿verdad? ¿O cómo puedo hacer para aprender eso? Muy bien. Fíjese de que en este caso eh, hay... Tres reglas, como usted ya lo mencionó, eh, esas reglas sí hay que aprendérselas de memoria. Entonces, pero eh, algunos como hay tips, hay tips para que usted se las pueda aprender. Le voy a dar como unos tips en este momento. Bye. Uh -huh. Fíjese de que básicamente en el idioma inglés hay tres maneras de pronunciar los verbos regulares en pasado. Regulares, uh -huh. ¿ok? So, esta regla es para regular verbs. 
verbos regulares, ¿sí? Los verbos regulares, como lo sabemos, son los que terminan en ed. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. su forma base es finish. Ese es uh -huh. su presente. Su pasado va a ser este, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Luego también tenemos eh, learn. Su forma base es así. Y su uh -huh. pasado es learned. ¿Sí? Y también tenemos este, que su forma base es wait. Y su uh -huh. forma pasada termina en ed. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Entonces, la regla dice que algunos verbos los podemos pronunciar con sonido de T al final. Otra nos dice, bueno, se lo voy poniendo a la parte de aquí. Nos dice que podemos poner sonido de T al final, sonido de la letra D al final y sonido uh -huh. de la letra I de. Pero, ¿cómo lo identifico yo? ¿Cómo sé cuáles son con T, cuáles son los de D y cuáles son los de ID? Va. Uh -huh. Lo que hacemos nosotros es aprendernos la pronunciación del final del verbo en su forma base. En su forma base. Entonces, esta, si usted se pone la mano aquí, póngasela en su, en su garganta y diga finish. Finish. ¿Tiene vibración? ¿Le vibra? No. ¿Verdad que no vibra? No, no se siente nada de vibración. Finish. Uh -huh. Entonces, la regla dice que los que terminan en ED en su forma pasada, pero que en su pronunciación de su forma presente no tienen vibración, se van a pronunciar con la letra T. Entonces, uh -huh. eso sería finish. Sí, eh, le doy otro ejemplo muy común y la mayoría que usted va a tener en cuenta son los que terminan en SH o CH ¿Sí? entonces si usted se fija este verbo termina en ED entonces sería wash porque si dice wash no tiene vibración pero ahora entonces wash ¿Ok? es la regla Vale, ahora también está la regla con los de D. ¿Y cuáles son los que terminan en D? La pronunciación. Aquellos que me vibra. Aquellos que me vibra. Si usted dice, diga, learn. Learn. ¿Le vibra? Yes. Sí, sí. Entonces, esto lo vamos a decir, learn. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes. Entonces, así básicamente es con esta regla, ¿ok? Eh, a otra que puede hacer lo mismo es el verbo amar en pasado. Diga en presente, love. Love. No love, love. Love. Esa, la B de, de la B, esa es como... Love. Love. Ajá, como que diga vaca. Love. Love. Entonces, mm -hmm. si se dice love, va a sentir que le vibra. Entonces, esta va a terminar en de también. Todos los que vibren, todos, 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 todos van a ir con la D. Y los que no vibren, con la T. Mm -hmm. Pero ahora también tenemos la ID. Y estos son los que cuando los pronunciamos terminan con la letra T o D. Por ah, ejemplo, ese es wait, ¿verdad? Wait. El pasado es con ED, entonces vamos a decir waited. Waited. Ajá. Y también el más común, want, querer. Want. ¿Cómo sería? Wanted. Wanted. ¿Sí? Porque terminan en T. En T. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Entonces, esas son como reglas eh, simples, digámoslo así, pero se las tiene que aprender de memoria y tiene que percatarse del sonido, básicamente. Uh -huh. Correcto. 
en, en T o en D, dijo en los últimos, ¿verdad? Yes, en T o en D. Le doy otro ejemplo de D. Fíjense que uh -huh. si usted se fija aquí, ese es un verbo de decidir. Pronúncielo en presente. ¿Cómo se pronuncia ese? Decide. Exacto. A pesar que ten, tiene una E al final, no decimos decide, ¿verdad que no? Decimos decide uh -huh. y termina en D la pronunciación. Entonces, uh -huh. el pasado es con así, ¿ve? ED, mire, solo se le agrega la D. Entonces, uh -huh. también a los que terminan en D, su pronunciación es ID. Entonces, sería decided. Decided. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Entonces, eh, esto sí, como usted mismo me lo dijo, Salvador, es aprendido de memoria. Mm -hmm. Dedíquese un día o todos los días, dedíquese a aprenderse tres verbos o dos verbos, pero hágalo tres días o dos días seguidos y deja un día intermedio, pero hágalo todos los días, trate de hacerlo y va a ver que se le va a quedar. Mm -hmm. Sí. ¿Tiene la lista de verbos? No, fíjense. Hay una lista de verbos, fíjense, para que usted como que lo identifique más rápido. Yo la tengo. Entonces yo se la puedo pasar. Ya va a ver. Ahorita se la voy a buscar para que usted la pueda tener. Ya se la paso. ¿Esa es de la compu o es de su cel? El celular. Ah, vale. Entonces se la voy a pasar. Mire, ya va a ver. Se la voy a pasar, bueno, se la voy a mostrar. Se la voy a mostrar para que usted vea, quiero ver. Así, ah, aquí está. Mira, esa, esa se la voy a pasar al, al WhatsApp. Ahí la voy a mandar para que todos la puedan ver. Muy bien. Eh, pero le voy a mostrar para que usted vea. Eh, permítame que no se abre. Vale, eh, aquí está. Fíjese bien, tenemos dos listas de verbos, lo que le estaba comentando, las regulares y las irregulares. Entonces, uh -huh. los regulares son los que siguen el mismo patrón de poner ED. Entonces, mire, aquí está, ¿ve? Aquí yo se lo, se lo doy bien específico, los que terminan en ED, los uh -huh. idos, los que terminan en T y los que terminan en D. Para que usted se los aprenda así. Uh -huh. Entonces aquí ya viene. Mira, usted dice. Accept, accepted. Count, counted. Date, dated. Y así. Y después. Te. Ask, uh -huh. asked. Cook, cooked. Dance, danced. Y así. Y luego uh -huh. con el de. Answer, answered. Arrived, arrived. ¿Sí? Sí. Ok, y también le voy a pasar esta. Los irregulares, que los irregulares son los que cambian completamente, miren. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Va. Y ahí va el significado, ¿eh? También. Sí, y aquí también va el significado. ¿Sí? Así se lo voy a sí, pasar. Va. ¿Alguna otra pregunta o duda? No, quizás solamente decirle algo. Sí. Usted hace un excelente trabajo. La okay. felicito. Thank you. Sin, sin duda usted eh, tiene, un, tiene vocación, porque cuando usted enseña lo hace con mucha pasión. Okay. Estas dos horas no se sienten con usted. Y la felicito mucho porque es muy joven y es una persona muy dedicada a su profesión. Okay. Creo de que usted sí ha encontrado el propósito por el cual Dios la tiene en este mundo. Así es que siga okay. adelante enseñándonos y compartiendo lo que usted sabe. Nunca había escuchado es, esa, esa regla de, de, lo, de los verbos así que vibran y no vibran. Está bien bonita, interesante. Ok, thank you. Okay. Muchas gracias por sus palabras y la verdad que las tomo uh, en cuenta y, y las aprecio mucho. Ok, gracias. Ok, Salvador. So, uh, if you don't have any other question, any other doubt, 
Ok, vamos a dejar el feedback hasta acá. Sí, me encanta que se sienta bien en, en las clases. Vamos a seguir pues incorporando más actividades donde ustedes se puedan desenvolver y también que sientan la clase más dinámica. Ok, entonces, sí, eh, perfecto. Bueno, un gusto, Salvador. Ok, eh, I'll see you back tomorrow. Descanse. Ok, good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye.